computers are 30 years old. So we're going to be playing Aftermath, uh, spelled with uh, M-A-F, obviously as the last three letters. Well, that's Kebab Shop London accent I've got in it, that's what it is. Um, Atari chose not to release Missile Command on the C64, as far as I know. Uh, maybe something weird with that, but seeing as Joust has only just turned up, you never know. I never checked the uh, C64 games that weren't. So, but yeah, there's a uh, there's an Ocean game. Uh, there's uh, an Interceptor Micros version. And this one by Alternative Software, which is uh, where we're going to stop. Uh, we won't use any trainers. Uh, uh, one to zero. Well, let's just start with one. Don't really need a level skip on this thing. Well, the graphics are a bit... Mm, they're a bit ZX Spectrum if I'm honest. Maybe I'll have to close the curtains again. Ooh! Ooh! Madam! I'm closing the curtains! Yes! The curtains is closed. Yeah, that, that, that green and yellow looks the same on the uh, camera LCD. Same colour. Washed out bollocks colour. Anyway, Get on with the show. Wow, seriously, no fucking sound. That is the only sound we're going to get, is it? Hang on. There's something weird. I can't describe what's wrong with the controls, which is weird. Uh, yeah, it's going to miss anyway. Uh, there's just there's the sound effects have failed. Okay, uh, your centre turret gets knocked out, and you can't fire fuck all. So. So Spectrum Graphics, Auric 1 sound effects <coughs> and uh, there's going to be times of uh, gameplay where you can't do fuck all, it's like uh, a track mode on the arcade as far as you're concerned. This didn't go too well, innit? it? And how would you get more ammo anyway, because you can't shoot anything to get more ammo. This is not Operation Wolf, mate. <coughs> so really, if you run out of ammo on wave one, now have I got ammo of zero because they hit the center section and blew up my ammo dump? Hmm. Tap wave over. Uh, you're going to have to be a bit strategic. Is that going to make it in time? Just. Ooh. <coughs> oh no. Again, right, this is unplayable when they do that. So we'll see if the other versions include something like that. Now, luckily, I know exactly where the bloody uh, game file is because I've rearranged the SD card. Um... Because I didn't want it taking ages to read the directory as soon as this program runs. 
Now I might have gone a bit over the top and put everything in a directory called games. However, once you're in here, because I created the directories first, they're all at the top. So that's no problem. Uh, apart from Cinemaware, which has only got Defender of the Crown on there. Because uh, the only other Cinemaware I game I would play on the C64 is uh, Rocket Ranger. I don't know if King of Chicago was on the uh, C64. Bloody should have been. Got a working version of uh, Flash Gordon as well. But anyway, they're under Missile Comms. So I've put them all in a disk directory. So this is going to be the Interceptor Micros version. Now the interesting thing is when you copy in PRG files to make these uh, compilations, I was doing one for Ocean and uh, by 1986 the games were taking up quite a lot of space. In 1983 even uh, big names were making small games. You know, I'm talking like 20k, a 48k, a 32k Atari would have no problem with uh, most 1983 C64 games. Games that never were on the Atari 800-400. Hmm. I'm looking forward to uh, using my Atari 800XL that I've got in mint condition. Don't see the point in not using it. No, that's not an actual title page from the time. That's uh, something that's been added later by a fan. Uh, let's go with trainers because I don't need to access the drive like that. No, no. Oh, yeah, they've got the same thing. Don't lose ammo if main base hit. Cities cannot be destroyed, no. So, again with the uh, limited ammo. So, well, it allows you to select the joystick pull. That's something. So, we've seen alternative software's version. And we're possibly never going to see this version. Oh, it has worked. Look great. So, it's flickering. Uh, so, this is more likely. You've got the actual circles being drawn. That might hit me, so... Ah, damn it, we lost the city. But we did a lot better. The explosion effects uh, on the alternative software game mean you're firing a, a kind of like scud missile or something, or... Scud killer, you know those things they used to shoot down missiles. With. So, so you can only have four on the screen. So this is already more fun. I suppose it does look like the arcade game. Not really. Maybe in a total number of colours, but uh, they've gone for a more realistic earth-based uh, type of situation. I think that's going to hit. And that's going to hit, so... Uh, to be honest, if you move twice as fast, you might make one and a half times more mistakes, so...
Right, <clears throat> I had to record the uh, sound of the uh, propeller airplane going by because that's something I used to hear all the time from my bedroom as a kid. I'll be needing that later for uh, an experiment in uh, memory recovery. So you've got to use a joystick to type in your name and return to actually enter it on the keyboard. Don't think they thought that one through. So uh, again, it's not ideal, even for a joystick, um, but it's certainly better than alternative software. So, let's have a look at Ocean's Armageddon. Uh, Armageddon is a missile command uh, ripoff by Ocean when they were also, uh, you know, joining in with the old illegal arcade conversion ripoff uh, business. They did, uh, they did Kong for the uh, Spectrum, they didn't do that for the C64. And uh, then the next year they licensed Hunchback by Century, I think Century Electronics, uh, who were also geographically within about 10 or 20 miles of where they were, very close to them. So, you know. So I have played this on emulators, I may even have uploaded a video on my channel, Stroke Original Channel. I haven't decided whether to have a second channel or not yet. I haven't decided where I, whether I would have them linked in any way. So... I'm pretty sure this is uh, 1983 or 84, it's very early for uh, Ocean. Luckily they've spelled Armageddon right. Um, the entire background looks like Petsky graphics, so the only interesting thing that happened there was some very blocky circles with the uh, sprites. In fact, you could do that in Try and Basic very easily. You, if you had a copy of the uh, hardware uh, programmer's reference guide, sorry. Uh, J for joystick, wind speed, uh, let's have zero. Yeah, that could get away. Oh crap. Wrong toy people. Oh no, I missed one. Luckily that one missed, but uh Luckily, as soon as that missile hit me, it was end of level. But then we did have to change joystick ports and the uh, roll-up was burning me lips, so... Uh, yeah, I predicted cook correctly, that would get annoying. You think you got just enough time to have a squeak of your coffee? Ah, crap. It is actually quite tricky because uh, the controls are a little bit faster than uh, oh, damn it. Uh, the Interceptor Micros version. The alternative software uh, knockoff 
uh, doesn't have the big, uh, you know, circular explosion, so yeah, we can count that one out. I think these two are both very similar. No, no, no. And what he's doing in the arcade is do a few of them. So you've got to factor in the time and uh see I didn't have any cheats on so Maybe your base can take more hits, I don't know. That's how you would do it. If you're gonna have that, then your base can sustain like three or four hits. Maybe you're hidden in a mountain. So, the mountain from Stargate. Yeah, that's annoying, very annoying. So I think it's ever so slightly better. We're talking like the difference between, you know, six and a half out of 10 and six out of 10. I would never buy any of these games, so. I think this is more playable, slightly more playable, so uh, I think alternative software is bang on right in the middle five. Thank you. Uh, alternative software I'll give five out of ten because they haven't done the uh, explosions well enough. And that's a big part of it. It's like an interactive Venn diagram sort of. So actually when you've only got cities on one side, it does actually get easier to protect them. Don't know why I was doing that one, no please. Oh crap, I missed that one too. Right, you might be able to save this one. New York City. Manchester City. I'm sure Ocean we're in Manchester. So I think if you are going to get one, based out of these three, I would probably go for this one. Yes, we've got the plane at least. See, my base doesn't seem to get destroyed. I definitely uh, said no to all the trainer options, so... Ooh, so the one, ones with the uh, red dot, uh, you've got to shoot the uh, the actual missile first. Nah, you've got to take into account the time taken. So, uh, but I think this is slightly more playable than the Interceptor Micros version. So yeah, six for Interceptor and six and a half for Ocean. <laughs> 